This is Manix. She's pretty cool. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, Watching Relic here. My name is The Watching Relic. How you guys all doing? Hello YouTube. Whatever. The, the, every intro ever. So yeah. Minix here. Kind of, uh, kind of interesting. She's an older mock of mine. And I think visually not everything holds up incredibly well. When I say older, I really just mean she's probably like a year old. She's not like ancient by any means. She's been up for probably like a year-ish. Um, maybe not quite that even. But just, I mean, for me, for the rate at which I progress as a mockist, um, that's kind of a long time. It's a pretty long time. But anyway, um, I think visually, yeah, she's not completely up to date. She's not exactly how I do a female mock or a mock like this, I should say, now. But, um... I think design, or I think, like, build-wise, she holds up really well. Like, just her detail, her complexity is, like, this is, like, for my mocking, probably the epitome of just complex technic stuff. And that's kind of cool, because I like, I like building like that, and I don't do it nearly enough. I mean, like, I do it on most torsos, usually there's some part of either the legs or the arms that's custom, but, like, this is one of the most complicated mocks I have right now, along with one other which I'm not quite done with, not quite satisfied with, but he'll get posted at some point. So anyway, I'm going to take off her little wrist-mounted daggers and take out her swords, which are attached through one of her fingers. So, going down to her feet. Never thought I'd use these feet. Um, I talked about, in the last review I did of Commander Devok, how uh, it was kind of weird for me to use the CCBS feet because they're kind of big and clunky, but it made sense on that particular mock because he's very big. This is a little athletic-looking female character, and I gave her the 1.0 hero feet. I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I can't for the life of me figure out like my reasoning behind this, but I did, and in the end, it looks cool. She kind of has like skinnier upper limbs and then bulkier lower limbs and kind of slightly biggish hands, sort of, not really. I mean, they're pretty average hands, I guess, and then kind of big feet and bulky lower legs. I think she has a f kind of fun proportion to her, almost a little bit cartoonish, um, which I like. Um, the upper legs themselves are like just, I mean, like I was saying, this mock is the epitome of just complicated, convoluted technicness, um, for me anyway. Um, and, I mean, they're more technic than armor. Even when I make stuff that's complex and custom on my mocks, usually it's pretty heavily covered in, you know, shells, armor pieces, whatever you want to call them. This one, I mean, it has a metro chest, which doesn't really cover much of it, and then just boom, block of Technic. And yeah, she's heavier than she looks. I mean, she's pretty, she's dense is the word. Um, the upper legs, not my design. You've probably seen this design before. It's that. And yeah, I'm not even going to talk about it because I shouldn't because I didn't come up with it. I don't know who did. I honestly don't. I've seen it so many times now. Maybe not so many, but I mean, I've seen it multiple times. Um, like at least probably like five or six mocks from various different people. I have seen a design like that or similar to that um, or that one specifically being used. And I don't know who actually came up with it. <laughs> um, if someone knows... By all means, tell me, because I'd be curious. I'd like to give credit where credit is due. The waist, I like these little... Wow, the light just makes that one piece just look like it's glowing there. It's just like, oh, I'm black, and now just... Swing. Um, anyway. Um, these are the little, like, system doodad with a clip on it. There's a siren in the background. That's great. Um, they have kind of a cool little angled look. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I like it. I like it a lot. I think... Nowadays, if I were to make this mock, I probably would try to do more of a curved, hippie, skirty-looking thing. Um, especially considering that she is, of course, female. Um, just to get a more feminine hourglass-shaped torso. But, I mean, this is pretty much an hourglass-shaped torso. I mean, you can see it getting thinner at the ab abdomen and then widening a little at the hips. I mean, that. I, I, mean, I, I feel like that was pretty successful. Uh, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was uh, that was just a complete failure of words. But anyway, I think what you I think you know what I'm trying to say. I, I basically uh, I'm just trying to articulate. I feel that making this an hourglass feminine shaped torso, I feel like I was successful at doing that. There we go. I did it. 
I Englished real well. Not really. Um, <laughs> of course, she has her double tails, which, um, I mean, yeah, they're not well articulated. They're just on one ball joint, and it's kind of limited up and down. But, I mean, if you want to, you can kind of cross them a little, and you could turn them around if, if you want to, like, emphasize a different mood or something. And, uh, yeah, they're kind of fun. Um, I mean, kind of means she has no butt, but oh well. <laughs> but, but. Uh, the upper torso. I saw forever ago the original slideshow for Dominion by Shadow Gear, and I just loved these pieces as the abdomen section. And I was thinking, man, I want to do that. But as I was building this mock, I was just like, man, her abdomen section is not going to be wide enough. I'm only going to be able to do two. And I could not figure out for the life of me how I was going to attach them. Um, and so I was like, you know what? What if I did them for the chest? And at first, he didn't look that great. But then I added these little spike bits to kind of give it more of a, a curved shape. I wouldn't say rounded, but yeah, curved. And um, yeah. I think it looks pretty nice. Sorry, I got distracted by something there. But yeah, I think in general, this actually is like... I mean, this works, especially because I use a slightly less... I use one with a softer or a, or a gentler... Uh, a more gentle angle to it, I guess is the way to put it. Um, uh, a number four one, whereas the other two are number fives uh, on top, just to make it a little bit broader up by her chest. And that's pretty cool. Her, her torso is very deep, as you can see. I mean, in general, like, the transition from this to, whoa, we're a couple more, like, lengths out. And then she also has these to store her katanas. Um, and so, yeah. I don't even think I highlighted the weapon storage on her slideshow. But, oh, well. It's there. The back is just very smooth and kind of nice looking, honestly. And uh, she has some little little slopes there uh, in uh, translucent dark blue. The That and the lightsaber rods down here on her thighs are the only translucent dark blue on her. Oh, and the Borok eyes right there by her neck. Um, so yeah, the, tor the torso is very dense, much like the lower legs, and I can't even remember how I did this, honestly. <laughs> it's one of those where it's like the mock has been up for just long enough, and it's just complicated enough that like I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, I have no clue how I built that. Um, one thing that I pretty much just straight up forgot about when I was posing her for the slideshow, is she does have a waist joint. Um, it's just a, it's just a swivel. But it's nice. It's, it's there. It's cool to have waist articulation. And I think, yep, yep. There you, yep. Mm -hmm, there you go. Um, I couldn't remember if that was actually a ball joint with an axle in it or like a glatorian neck or something. <laughs> I genuinely had no idea what was going to happen when I pulled it apart. Um, the arms are, I mean, there's nothing too much going on as usual. But uh, she does have custom upper arms and uh, kind of a an extra joint in the middle of her bicep. It's a little weird, but and yeah, the lower the the lower arms being like the smallest little CCBS bone with the the hand attaching via just one T piece uh, onto the the armor shell. There, it's a little bit funky. It's a little bit weird, but I kind of like it. Um, and that's pretty much oh the head. Yeah, should probably go over the head. It is customized. It's uh, it's it's freaking just blasphemy right here. If you're like a purist type mock maker, um, I didn't want to say mockist because that was gonna rhyme with purist, kind of not really, but whatever. Um, it's the scrawl helmet with the big uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I guess not horn, but like crest. Like the big crest is just cut off. I feel like I wasn't the first to do this. I, I don't honestly remember because I, this this head is not specifically for this mock. It was made a long time ago. I mean, a long, long time time ago. Like, I remember back when freaking Bio Rock Dude was all the rage, I cut the, like, back spine piece off of my yellow rock she head, and then I also did this to the scroll head. So it's been around for a long time, and I don't remember where I got the idea to do this to the scroll head, but I feel like I didn't come up with it on my own. I genuinely, I cannot remember from where, but I feel like someone made a mock and they did this first. But I could not begin to remember what I'm actually thinking of. I can't even, like, visualize what I'm thinking of in my head, like the mock or the mockist. I have no idea, but I feel like this was not my idea originally. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
She's got weapons, obviously, which you kind of saw at the beginning, but yeah, some average katanas, some average little wrist blades. And that's it. My camera's saying that it has low battery. Um, it has the battery life of a, equivalent to that of a goldfish's memory. Let's put it that way. Um, and yeah, that is Minix. I am the Watching Relic. Uh, here's the Gresh size comparison, as always. He's actually taller than she is. Um, so she's shorter than your average Anika build. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.